I'm super excited about today's video because I have some really, really cool news that I've been holding back and I can finally let you in on all of it. Not only that, this is a 2021 Porsche Taycan. We're gonna go Porsche shopping today for a really neat reason. You, you guys get to come along with me. And not, not only that, I'm gonna buy a brand new car, drive it across the country, and try to sell it for a profit. How do you buy a brand new car and then sell it for a profit? I don't know, and we're gonna find out together if that's even possible. So come along with me, let's enjoy today's video. We've all seen the movie with Burt Reynolds' Cannonball Run from the 80s, right? This is the Cannonball Run, America's illegal Grand Prix. Well, the future is going electric. So how would you do a Cannonball Run in an electric vehicle when you have to constantly be charging these things? Well, we are all gonna find out together. Just recently, I was blessed with a phone call that said, Craig, we're doing this show. We want you to be part of it. We're doing a cannonball run from New York to LA in an electric vehicle, and we want you to join us. If you could have any car to drive across the country that was electric, what would it be? Well, this right here would be my option. The Porsche Taycan. Now they make several models of the Taycan. I don't want to be driving these budget-friendly Nissan Leafs and Priuses, etc., across the country. I want something cool. It's not about who can get there the fastest. It's about who can get there the most efficient. We have to track the charging stations. We have to figure out where we're going, and we're traveling the entire country. And guess what? They said I get to bring my camera along with me, which means you get to join me by my side. Now I'm at a Porsche dealership. I have to provide my own vehicle, so I'm going to buy myself a Porsche Taycan from a Porsche dealer. The only thing is. I don't know if they'll actually take me seriously or if I'm just some guy walking around with a camera. I mean, I can buy this thing outright, but I don't know if they know that. So, so they're pulling up right now. Let's take a look at the new Porsche Taycan. Later. I can tell you both cars aren't here now. It's Thursday. I talked to somebody Tuesday said I was very interested I got all the specs emailed to me. I talked to somebody yesterday because the original guy wasn't on That guy said he would get back to me. I don't think he ever did I called the original guy today and said hey, I'm coming in I left a voicemail because he didn't answer wasn't available didn't call me back So we showed up should we maybe we shouldn't have showed up I don't really know but I really wanted to see those cars neither are here one's on loaner and another's at their warehouse so I don't know, I kind of felt like I got the pretty woman brush off, but... I got money to spend in here. I don't know, maybe they made a mistake. Big, huge. Oh, so commission, right? Uh, yes. Big mistake. Big, huge. So we walked into the Audi dealer, and I'll tell you what, my boy Jay at the Audi dealership in Nashua stood up, introduced himself, walked me through everything. I mean, I feel like I'm an EV pro now, not really true, but I feel like I know a heck of a lot more, and he gave me a lot of strategy to get across the country. So that was really helpful. So thank you, Jay, if you ever watch this. Fast forward, one hour, update, I got a call saying, hey, the Taycan is getting unwrapped. It was wrapped for a promo because it was a loaner car. They did a promo for something. Now it's getting unwrapped and it's in their warehouse. So we're at their warehouse right now, and I get to see this Taycan, and it's probably a realistic purchase for us. That is not the one, although that is pretty similar to the one. Zero to 60 on this is right around four seconds. Be honest with you, I don't even know how to turn this thing on. So you gotta put on the brake, power button's right here. Oh, it. Porsche. Yeah. And we are ready to And then we have our off. park reverse neutral drive. Yep, and then to go into drive, you just pull down on that handle, and it'll put you right into drive. Yep. Okay. So we looked at the Taycan and it's beautiful. Now it's used because it was a loaner. So it's one owner on the title, 2,300 miles. It should have already suffered depreciation, but with the market being so crazy, they're getting MSRP. So they're getting the original window sticker for this car and it's a used 
pre-owned certified Porsche. So 88K on this car. What is the depreciation when I get to LA? So the plan is, can I buy it here, bring it to LA, wholesale it to another Porsche dealer out there, and just, if I get my money back, then I got a free ride to LA in a Porsche Taycan, which is perfect. So I'm gonna call ahead to a bunch of dealers and see if they'd be interested in purchasing it ahead of time. So it's all set up when I get out there. So I the next day. Called all around and I'm in New Jersey right now where I found one. So I just drove four and a half hours to pick up my Porsche Taycan. So we are at the Porsche dealer in Poughkeepsie, somewhere in New Jersey. I haven't even seen this car. I've only been going off photos and speaking to the salesman about it. I don't know what this car looks like in person. And to be honest with you, I don't really know much about these aside from like just doing my research online. And I'm not an EV fan. I'm a big V8 muscle car guy. I love my gas combustion engines. So, kind of anti-EV, which is another reason why they wanted to try me out for this show, because I can put everything to the test, all the rumors, all the theories that you think aren't true about EV or are true about EV, we can put them to the test and find out, and also figure out if you can even make it from New York to LA in an electric vehicle. Let's see, are one of these mine? I think that one right there might be mine. And you can see they have the Porsche charging stations, which also work with Audi and Volkswagen. Is this one mine? I don't think so. So here's the thing, this car is a lot of money. I mean, I could have been driving a car for free across country, but where's the fun in that? The fun and the enjoyment is in the car. The car is gonna put a smile on my face and there's a kicker. I get to bring my mom with me across the country. So I'm taking a trip across country with my mom. I actually originally invited my father, but when I was pitching it to the producers, they said, no, we want your mom. Will your mom be part of this? My mom really didn't want to do it. She wasn't really on board with this. She has to work, she has to take time off from work, it's gonna be unpaid. So the way I pitched it to my mom and I sold her on it was, mom, when you're 80 or worse, when you're on your deathbed, are you gonna think about the 10 days that you worked, that you didn't take time off and you worked, or are you gonna remember the 10 days you took off and traveled across the country with your son? So instantly she was sold, she's on board, we're gonna have a great time. Now I'm buying a Porsche Taycan, I've never owned one, I've never driven in one, I don't know a ton about these things, and I'm somewhat anti-EV, I mean, the charging station's gotta be kind of a pain in the butt, I don't really know. So, I searched all over the country. I looked everywhere, especially in the Northeast. I didn't want to travel too far. New Jersey's five hours from me. That's about as far as I wanted to drive. So I found one in New Jersey that was a loaner car. It means the Porsche owned it and they loaned it out to people for the entire year. From 2020 to 2021, it was their loaner vehicle. So it has 9,000 miles on it. So it's not brand new, but that means I don't have to pay brand new prices. Even though things right now are still getting a premium, I can tell you right now that this is the least expensive Porsche Taycan in the entire country. I shopped around, I made my phone calls, I told the salesman the story, what I'm trying to do, the YouTube video, the television show, he's on board. And coincidentally, he did the original Cannonball Run in 1981. He told me all about it, had a fascinating story. I haven't met him in person yet, so hopefully he tells us about it again. And I think I can sell it for a premium when I get out there. So I've called a couple dealers out in LA, Porsche dealers to say, hey, I have this car, here's what I'm doing. Would you be interested when I got there? And travel the country for free in a Porsche. That's the idea. Or it's literally a $100,000 car still, so I could sell it at my wholesale auctions or bring it to one of the Mannheims out there, which is a dealer only auction, and potentially make even more money. Let's go inside. I've talked enough. Let's go see this car. I'm curious if anybody's gonna take me seriously. If I'm using like the air conditioner or the radio, is that gonna drain the battery faster? Or is it just all one consistent drain on the battery? I would say that if you're gonna be in sport, it's, mm -hmm. it's like gas. If you're gonna be in sport, if you're gonna be doing more with the car, if you're, if you're heavy footed, mm -hmm. it's gonna kill your battery more. So the best way to, if you're worried about conserving your battery, drive on like cruise control. You know what I mean? Like drive on the E, like this most E okay. of the, the settings. Does this have the um, like friction braking, where as you're braking it recharges the battery yes. downhill or anything? So you can do the battery recuperation right here. That's that button. Okay. And I noticed that it went from 235 to 225 already. Wait, 235 to 228. That's just. 
So right now, this is like an average off of the past 30 days of driving. So because okay. this was a motor car before that, it has a couple of different drivers that were in the car. So not everything is completely synced up. So I would give yourself a few weeks for it to actually be super accurate. This is where you're going to focus your um, attention more on okay. is the 98%. That's your battery percentage. That's more accurate for like your life of your battery. Okay. Turn off sport okay. or just hold it? Yep. Okay. Drive is down. Mm -hmm. That's crazy. That was a lot I feel thing. like I am in the future. Mm -hmm. It feels, it's a diff it's a totally different experience for you than it is for me. Like me, it feels more like a roller coaster. Cause like you're driving, so you have control of the braking and you know when to expect it. Mm -hmm. Especially when you accelerate, you're gonna feel it. Like if you go quick, it just like takes you back. This is wild. It's uh, so do you cool. remember the movie Demolition Man? You might be too young. Nope. <laughs> Sylvester Stallone and Sandra Bullock. This is pretty much what they drove, but in 1993. Is it in sports sound right now? Because I can hear it, or is it? Let's check. So you can go to car menu, mm -hmm. and then electric sports sound is off. So now I'm going to turn it on, and we'll see the difference. And it amplifies the electric motor, doesn't it, mm -hmm. through the speakers? Is that what I hear right now that sounds kind of like music? Yep. Wow. I feel like I'm in a movie. Uh huh. You feel the difference? Or at least hear the hear difference? Hear the difference. Yeah. That is so weird. And this car is so fast. And you don't feel it? No, I didn't realize I was going this fast. Jeez, okay. It's kind of hard to not drive fast in this car. Mm -hmm. Do we do a circle? Basically. Does it handle like a Porsche should handle, or should I expect oh, more it like? Handles. It's like it handles around the track well. It does. Yeah, if we take it on the track, it handles like the curb just like Porsche does. This thing is wild and at least it has sport sound that I can turn on because then you can like psychologically feel like you know what you're doing because you can hear the quote unquote engine revving with the accelerator, but it's fake. It just uh, reverberates, it echoes and amplifies through the speakers. So it's taking the electronic sound and amplifying it through the speakers. This car is cool, <laughs> this is crazy. Look at how wide these rear tires are in Porsche standard. Look at, oh, the angles and everything of this car are unreal. So the car is all loaded up. Thank you very much. Paul Miller Porsche out of Parsippany, New Jersey, because that car is amazing. I don't know a lot about it. There's so many buttons, so much to learn. So in the next video, give me a week or so to really get to know this car better. And I'm gonna learn with you. So I'll vlog all of it as we're going, figure out what all the buttons do see if I actually like the car at all when we're done with it. And then we're gonna take a trip across the country in an electric vehicle. And it could be a freaking nightmare. I have no idea. I'm a gas guy, I'm a fuel guy. I I'm not an electric guy. And I don't know enough about it to even know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna find out together as well. So if you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe down below. Next video, we're gonna learn about this car together. I'll see you all later. Have a great day. Wait a minute. If you're not following me on Instagram and TikTok and Facebook already, you definitely should because you'd already know that backstory because I did this two weeks ago. I started this video two weeks ago. So follow me on TikTok and Instagram with links directly down below in the description. I'll see you guys all later. Have a great day. Adios. Hey, thanks again for watching. If you click that button right in the middle that says subscribe, you can subscribe to our channel so you can watch all of our content. Also, to the left and to the right are our most recommended videos for you as well as a playlist. So I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching.